Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Wednesday, August 25th, 2021. I am Siobhan Walwin. More than 20 young persons were on Wednesday, August 25th, provided with information they can use to transform their lives. As they participated in a retirement preparedness seminar hosted by the Sustainable Development Unit. During Wednesday's opening ceremony, Coordinator Joyce Movin noted that the aim of the unit is to provide information about the United Nations' 17 Sustainable Development Goals. The goal one, no poverty. Goal two, zero hunger. Goal three, good health and well-being. And goal 10, reduce inequalities. One may ask, how is a retirement preparedness seminar connected to the goals? It is directly connected for the long term. Being prepared for the future can ensure that a decent standard of living is maintained and enjoyed even after leaving work. At the end of today, I hope that attendees will be equipped with knowledge that would assist them in making choices that in the long term would see the fruits being reaped in better quality of life, less poverty, and less vulnerabilities. The seminar included sessions on the role of human resources, things to know about the Public Service Act, understanding the labor laws and social security scheme, building your finances, investment opportunities, as well as emotional wellness and healthy lifestyles. Minister of Social Development, the Honourable Eric Evelyn, described the seminar as an important and timely initiative. And I'm indeed delighted to see young persons, very young persons, being targeted for this initiative. And so kudos to you, Ms. Movin and the team, and I hope that these kind of initiatives targeting our young people and getting them prepared for the future will continue and so i'm hoping that with this seminar that you're preparing yourselves to succeed even after you have retired because life is not just about working i believe i personally believe that life is meant to be enjoyed when you retire you must be prepared physically including your health you must be prepared financially including the money, and you must be prepared mentally and psychologically. And so I am encouraging you to take in what will be shared and take it very seriously and use it. Just don't come and get the information. Use it. It will be practical information that will assist you as you plan for your retirement. Also making remarks was Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Social Development, Keith Glasgow, who also endorsed the initiative. Nevis has recorded nine additional cases of COVID-19, bringing the island's total to 87. According to the St. Kitts and Nevis Situation Report on August 24, 2021, the Federation recorded an additional 46 cases of COVID-19, 37 in St. Kitts and 9 in Nevis. This brings the total number of COVID-19 cases to 929 in the Federation, 842 in St. Kitts and 87 in Nevis. 608 cases have recovered and 318 cases remain active. Still to come... Understand who you are, achievers, winners and brand advocates of CPS. The details right after this break. I will take the vaccine because being vaccinated is the best way to beat the pandemic. I will take the vaccine to protect my family, citizens, residents, and all visitors to Nevis. I will take the vaccine to protect myself, my loved ones, my clients, my coworkers, my community. For more information or to get vaccinated, visit your nearest health center. Welcome back. Governor General His Excellency Sir Tapley Seaton, by letter dated August 23, 2021, paid tribute to the late Arthur Evelyn. 
the letter states that His Excellency Sir Tapley Seaton wishes to pay a most respectful tribute to the late Arthur L. Evelyn, CSM, OBE, JP. He first interacted with the late Mr. Evelyn when he became a member of the first Nevis Island administration in 1983 upon attainment of independence. The Governor General said he was always aware of Mr. Evelyn's humility and humanity and the respect which was accorded to him at all times. His was a life of service, whether in public or private sphere. He was an innovator, wishing to ensure that what mattered was that service was given to his fellow citizens. At all times, he was an affable individual and a person whose life and work were an inspiration to us all. Expressing his sympathy to Mr. Evelyn's family and friends, His Excellency Sir Tapley Seaton said he pays tribute to this icon and statesman and prays that his soul will rest in eternal peace. When difficulties arise, don't dim your light, shine bright. That was the theme of a ceremony hosted by the Charlestown Primary School on August 19th when 53 students graduated from the institution. Many of the graduates of the class of 2021 were awarded prizes for outstanding performances. Among them, top achievers Alasia Brown, Roshni Sukram, and Tajari Mills. I would just like to say that my time in Charleston Primary School was pleasurable, lively, edifying, productive, and refreshing. To you, my fellow graduates, class of 2021, I ask one thing of each and every one of you, including myself. Be true to yourself and remember that we all have set goals to attain and we must work at achieving them. This is a distinguished moment for us, the graduates, one that we looked forward to our entire lives. I have so many fond memories at the Charleston Primary School. These memories I will forever treasure in my heart. We have completed this phase of our education and are enthusiastic about continuing our academic drive at the secondary level. We are confident that we will shine as long as we remain focused. Congratulations, my fellow graduates. My fellow classmates, we have reached the end of our primary school journey. According to William R. Ford, if you imagine it, you can achieve it. If you dream it, you can become it. So I say to you, Carl Gies, become that Olympian. Abija, Cameron, and Nizaya, become the best engineers Nevis had ever seen. And to the rest of you, my fellow classmates, don't ever give up on your dreams. Tajari Mills received the Kevin Barrett and Nikesha Henry Award for Social Studies, the Honorable Joseph Parry, W. Ferdinand Duo, Suan Collins, Wangeshi Powell, and Lefko Awards. Alasia Brown received the Nevis Teachers Union Award, the Cassandra Powell and Amber Lescott Award for Language Arts, the Honorable Michael Perkins Award for Mathematics, the Chris Liburd and Justin Skeet Award for Social Studies, and the Dr. Karen and Carol Liburd Award for Science. Roshni Sukram received the Roberto Hector Award for Mathematics, the Bank of Nevis Award, the Farron Lawrence Scholarship, the W. Ferdinand Du Award, and the Lefko Award. Other outstanding students included Asia, who received the Cassandra Powell and Amber Lescott Award for Language Arts the Chris Liburd and Justin Skeet Award for Social Studies, and the Paul Challenger General Knowledge Award. Cynthia Suj Bali, who received the Rinell Daniel Award for Language Arts, the Amber Lescott Award for Social Studies, and the Cheryl Haynes Award for Outstanding Performance. Abija Nemdari, who received the Deslin Tyson White Science Award, the Alice Swanson Award for Good Work in Mathematics, and the Lyndon Hanley Science and Technology Award. Alyssa Jeffers, who received the Chris Liburd and Justice Skeet Award for Social Studies, the Latoya Jeffers Award, and the Cheryl Haynes Award for Outstanding Performance. Abdul Karim Ahmed, who received the St. Kitts Nevis Anguilla National Bank Award, the Paul Challenger General Knowledge Award, and the Guidance Counselors Award, and Jazara Davis Nisbet, who received the Development Bank of St. Kitts and Nevis Award, the Lurleen Gums Award for Language Arts, as well as the Phil Jones and Latoya John Award. I remind you that the palm is gained with effort. Therefore, I empower you that when difficulties arise, 
Don't dim your light. Understand who you are. Achievers, winners, and brand advocates of CPS. So go forth and shine bright. We have every confidence that you will excel. Principal of the Charleston Primary School, Cheryl Haynes. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. I am Chevron Walwin. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing.